Hello guys. So from past couple of months, I have been uploading a lot of videos uh, related to creating generative AI applications using LLM models, LIM models, multi-model, and uh, where I have specifically used both paid and open source models itself. Uh, one of the important question that I usually get from people is that, uh, Chris, do we really need to have an open AI account or do we need to probably put some credit over there? Uh, we need to buy some services in order to learn generative AI. So I will be talking about this in this specific video. Um, the answer is no. Okay. You can actually learn the entire generative AI just with open source models. Uh, again, there is an asterisk uh, because I will talk about like what all things you can probably explore for exploring the open source model and creating generative AI applications over there. And uh, some of the myths that you have probably in your mind related to generative AI or how I specifically prepared with all these particular open source models and all. Right now, I know each and everything. Like I know Hugging Face, how to explore Hugging Face. I know frameworks like Langchain, Llama Index. I probably have explored some of the amazing platforms like Creo AI, Gemini, Google Gemini models, right? Uh, how to access open source models using Grok API. Everything I will be showing you, what all platforms I specifically follow. Let's say that if you have that monetary concern to probably get an paid API, uh, then you don't have to worry about it. Don't go and focus on paid API, instead focus on open source LLM models. So let me just do, go ahead and discuss about this in this specific video. The first platform that I definitely refer for open source models is my Hugging Face, right? Now there is one challenge in Hugging Face. See, I'll tell you why Many people prefer paid API accounts because uh, uh, understand one of the very important thing while creating generative AI application, the main problem statement over there is with respect to inferencing. Inferencing basically means whenever I ask a question to my LLM models, it should be able to give the response quickly. And if I talk about many businesses in this entire world wants to develop application where their inferencing is very much fast, right? There are also some, and those type of organization don't worry about the cost that is involved over there, right? Because they are already doing some amazing revenue out there in the market. But what about those startups who really want to begin from scratch, right? There are options that you can actually directly use open source LLM models like Llama 3 and all, which is also used for commercial purpose. And then you take care of the deployment and inferencing purpose, right? So uh, when I say with respect to learning generative AI, uh, the main thing is that how you can actually use LLM models, how you can perform fine tuning and all that is the most important thing that actually matters. Right. And even in interviews, if they see all the skills, trust me, you have a good chance to get hired. So first thing, first platform that I definitely refer for both using LLM models, quantization process, you know, and even fine tuning is hugging face. Almost each and every model that you'll be able to get over here. Uh, let it be image text to text. Uh, like in in this example, we can see multi-model. In this example, we can see computer vision. In this example, we can see natural language processing. In this example, you can see audio tabular. So any kind of models that you specifically want, these are like kind of state of art models, uh, uh, which has been created or trained with huge amount of data. So you can also use this specific model. Only one challenge that comes over here. Let's say that I'm actually using Google Colab or whatever uh, coding environment that you're specifically using, right? You really need to have a powerful system. You need to have enough RAM. Let's say that if this Meta Llama 38B is the 8 billion parameters there, if I try to download it in my local machine, right now in my local machine, I have somewhere around 256 GB hard disk, 64 GB RAM, right? I will be able to download this, right? And I will be able to work with my code. But what about those people who are just using some kind of laptop? So this is one challenge and that is where just for learning purpose, Google Colab is an alternate option. Now, if you consider Google Colab and if you try to download this particular model and do it, most of the application will work. But again, with respect to the Google Colab free account also, you hardly get 12 GB RAM max to max and some GB of hard disk, right? So there also you need to probably get a paid version, which takes somewhere around $11, okay? But still, most of the models over here, uh, whenever you probably want to read it, you want to probably go ahead and see the endpoints by using transformers. Let's say that I have this particular, I want to use this Meta Llama 3. I will be able to use this model through transformer. I usually get the entire code and this is the code that I will specifically use. I will go ahead and install the transformers and I'm happy to use it. If you go down more detail about it, like how should we keep our prompt and all, what should be the pipeline that we should create every option is basically given so i still believe hugging face is the best option to learn generative ai models and all right now let's say that in google collab also you don't have enough money to probably buy it right 
but I still want to learn generative AI. I want to play with models like MetaLama 3, all the open source models that are coming up, uh, right? So the next option is specifically using Olama. See, the main aim of learning things is once you learn things, once you develop some projects, right? Once you go to the company, in companies, taking a subscription, taking good workstation will not be a problem because company has huge amount of money. Now in Olama, what we can do is that we can run all our large language models locally. Yes, again, it depends on the system configuration, how fast you'll be able to get the inferencing, but you will be able to develop the entire application. Now, the Olama thing is that Olama is a platform which provides access to almost all the open source platform or open source LLM models. So if I probably go ahead and show, show you the GitHub, right, what all models it probably supports, right? Here also it focuses more on open source models. So here you can see Llama 3 8B is also there, Llama 3 7B is also there, Phi 3 is also there, Mistral is also there, Neural Chat is also there, Starling is also there, Code Llama is there. So almost each and everything is available over here for you. This is the most amazing thing, right? Solar is also there, right? And different different sizes will be there and the best thing is that once you probably download this see now it is available for both mac os linux and windows right if i have already downloaded it, just click on this it will get downloaded it will be an exe file double click it and install it now once i open my command prompt i just have to do one thing see olama run llama 2 okay if i go ahead and write llama 2 my llama 2 will get loaded if it is not installed for the first time it will first of all download the entire model right so once i probably do this now i can have an interaction hi how are you all right something like this so this is just a demo to show you that how fast and how quick it is and i really have a powerful workstation i'll in my upcoming videos i'll be discussing about what kind of workstation also you should probably get right so all these things are specifically there right now it's not only this much if you really want to create projects so langchain is one amazing framework which also provides olama library so that you will be able to call any models that are there in the local itself right and over here you can download any model any model that you want that is given in this kind of uh, open source uh, which is specifically using this open source let it be llama 3 70 billion so anything you really want to try develop an application you can do it in a local environment right Later on, if you probably want to do the deployment and all, just take, spend some money, try to see how to probably deploy it in SageMaker, EC2, right? There are multiple things. But the main thing right now is how you can build an AI application. So Olama is one thing that I specifically use. And right now you can see over here, I don't need to have any open AI account or API account, right? Initially, I used to buy the $20, but I don't want to buy right now because I even have access to multi-models which are completely open source. And from that, so in, in this case, there is a model called as Lava 2. So that is also a multi-model, right? Yes, for generating high quality images and all. There we may require, but not right now, right? So here I'm not using OpenAI API account. It is completely for free, right? So this is one, and I can also develop an end-to-end -end project from this, okay? Now the thing is that, Krish, uh, uh, let's say, Krish, uh, there is also some uh, models like Google Gemini. There are some models like Grok you know, I'll, I'll talk more about this Grok and Gemini. So there is also one more platform which I had explored and recently had created a video on this, Jan.ai. Now this actually allows your AI models like Llama or Mistral directly on a device. Now here I don't even have to take OpenAI account, see. So once I probably install this, so if you go ahead and install this Jan, right? you will be able to work with various models. So this is one of the example, right? If I probably go ahead and explore the hub in Jan AI, you'll be able to see so many different, different models are there. And even paid models are there. For paid, you need to have an OpenAI. Uh, let's say if I want to use OpenAI GPT-3 Turbo, I need to have API for this. If I need to have G OpenAI GPT-4 Turbo, I need to pay for this, right? So I probably will upload $5 credit and I will be able to use it. Now here, not only open source model, paid models are also there, but there you specifically require API. And with the help of that, you can definitely check out this entire thing. In the future, they will also come up with some kind of APIs to integrate in your coding environment. Or uh, they may also come up with multiple things over here, like how you can interact with, how you can set up parameters. Already so many different, different options are over here, right? So this is the second platform that I refer. Now here, I definitely don't require anything. Say I'm directly using uh, Grok Llama 3 over here, right? So let's say if I... Uh, say hi hi again how are you so any question that i want to ask it is completely for free and this is running in my local environment here everything is private right my uh, if i do not have an internet i will be able to work uh, through this you know because the model is downloaded locally so this is also one another option which you can probably go ahead with 
now still you really want more experience you need to work with then you have the gemini pro right you have gemini pro flash all these models available and you can directly use it with the help of google api right so this models are free for some number of requests per minute like i think uh, 60 requests per minute you can actually uh, uh, do it for with the help of this and you can actually create a completely uh, amazing end-to-end -end application to just and get an idea how to probably work with generative ai application the best thing about gemini pro is that it has text it has vision it has multi models right both text and vision it supports each and everything so this is one more thing that i probably refer to probably develop my projects so most of my uh, entire experience of developing playlist you'll be able to see all these things then you have grok now grok is super amazing uh, the reason why i used grok because this has something called as lpu inferencing engine now grok when compared to gpu lpu inferencing engine is super amazing you should definitely read a research paper about this how it is very very much fast and just by getting this particular api i will be able to probably use any of these open source models that i have right and i have also created similar videos uh, in my channel right so you will definitely be able to see this so this is one another platform that i definitely use and don't have any dependency on paid accounts then you have creo ai right so creo ai is also over here you'll be able to see uh, just go ahead and explore this you will be able to use your open open source tools you'll be able to turn into apis and do multiple things right so this is another one account that i specifically see now to access all these things and work on all this i follow this particular framework that is called as lang chain amazing framework almost has each and everything let it be open source let it be anything if you really want to create agents you have options of creating agents so many different different agents are there you can build custom agent uh, so i'll just show you how many different types of agents are there see tavili api if you want to probably contact with uh, wikipedia you will be able to do it so many different different agents are definitely there so if you probably go ahead and explore this agents like right? agents basically means what agent is integrated to your application that performs a different functionality let it be a google search wikipedia search anything that you specifically want right so you can definitely explore this and right now it is must langchain is must because it actually helps you to develop an amazing application other than this i also have created an application using llama index this is another one to create efficient rag models and all right so so many different things are there Finally, the question that you probably may answer, right? Can we learn generative AI just by using open source LLM models? The answer is yes. Once you develop this, deployment will be something else, right? We can probably take a cloud. We can use any kind of services and do it, right? Yes, with respect to fine tuning, I'd suggest to take the use of Google Colab. You really need to have a good GPU to do that, okay? Along with this, you can probably see all my playlist uh, like uh, fresh and updated Langchain series, Google Gemini, all these things are basically created in my channel. So I hope you like this particular video. This was it from my side. I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you. One and all. Take care. Bye-bye.